Hi guys, welcome back to Geeks War Gaming, and this is part 14 of my building a craft world series. Uh, if you're just jumping in now, there's the entirety of my Ibrisil craft world uh, in a playlist. So uh, go and check that out if you want to see the this army right from the start. Uh, but this is my latest edition, and this is from the Eldritch Omens box set, and it is the new autark and uh, this model is absolutely lovely um i've got to be honest um, i probably would have bought the eldritch omens box set just for this model um but uh, obviously i've got the, the shroud runners and the scouts as well so they're on the the workbench at the moment um uh, but yeah I, I just absolutely love this I've, I've always loved the idea of um autarks um but uh having the sort of the fail cast model uh really sort of put me off and then uh, the more recent version looked really nice but the uh the loadout was just really useless basically so uh, and also didn't really fit in with my theme of my army um what with it being ibrisil they're a very um sort of matriarchal um society so there's lots of lots of females um in command uh which really drew me to to this sculpt because obviously you can uh, sculpt it as the uh well you can choose the uh the different variants to make it a female version so um that's exactly what i've done uh so i've uh i've actually fully magnetized this apart from obviously the head uh because the banshee mask is just perfect and it looks absolutely awesome um, so this is with the uh, fusion gun, not melt gun, well, not Imperium, uh, and then the glaive. Uh, and as I said, I have actually magnetized all of this. Uh, try and grab that, it's hard to see through the camera. Um, really easy to magnetize, just drilled a hole in here. Um, that is a 3 by one magnet, and then in the actual shoulder here that is a two by one magnet uh, so really easy job to do um, so that is her with the reaper launcher and uh, I think all the weapon options are actually pretty good they've all got uh, obviously different different uses different strengths and weaknesses um, but this is the uh, the the warp spider weapon I guess I can't think what it's called um, yeah, and the way it's the one the warp spiders have. This is really good at anti-infantry. Uh, then obviously you've got the fusion, which is really good at anti-tank, and then the reaper launcher can do both, uh, but it's longer range. Um, so I think I'll probably be using all of them at some point. I did also magnetize this arm, um, but the only issue you have with this kit is uh, the little shimmer shield is actually a separate part. So if you want to use the other uh, close combat weapon, I'd, I'd glued this before I'd realised. Otherwise, you could have maybe magnetised this shimmer shield onto the arm. Would have been a little bit fiddly, but it probably would have been doable. Um, but I didn't realise that, so I'd glued it all and then went, oh, okay, uh, I guess I'm stuck with the glaive. The glaive is a far superior weapon anyway, so I guess you'd only not run it if you're wanting to sort of be quite competitive and, and keep keep the unit cheap i guess um but yeah that is that is her uh absolutely beautiful model oh i went with the um the warp spider jump generator as well because the rules on that are just bonkers from what we've seen so yeah she can be basically standing by one unit giving it the re-roll one buff then shoots off a shot herself and then uses battle focus 2d6 to uh, scoot off somewhere else on the uh, on the table uh, which could be near a unit that was out of range that you can now give reroll ones to so um, I think you're going to see Autox coming back into um, Eldar armies now uh, so that is her uh, let me know what you think in the comments below how have you built yours um, what gun do you think I should run on a regular basis? Um, I'm between the Reaper Launcher and the Fusion, uh, but I'll have to sort of give it a few runouts to see which one um, is going to be most useful. 
so yeah, really enjoying painting up my Eldar again. So if you are interested in Eldar and seeing the progress of this force, uh, there are more videos to come. So make sure that you are subscribed uh, and uh, you've clicked the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of these channels, uh, any of these channels, any of these uh, videos that I'm uploading to the channel. And if you are going to buy any um, any Games Workshop or other hobby products, uh, we are affiliated with um, Element Games. So click the link down below and use our unique code, uh, and that really helps out the channel. And it doesn't cost you anything. So uh, why not do that, eh? Uh, so thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I will see you in the next one.